everyone, I'm Mindy Laven, and this is Spring Fling. Today we're talking about simple and inexpensive ways to decorate your home for spring. When we go inside, I'm going to show you how to make one of these beautiful balloon bouquets, just using simple everyday balloons, a little bit of ribbon, no helium required. I always like to have something fun on my porch to welcome my guests. I've used a square candle holder, a little bit of yellow and white ribbon, some astroturf, and some artificial flowers to create something really lovely and lasting to welcome my guests. To make this darling wreath for my front door, I've simply wrapped a little burlap ribbon around a foam wreath form, folded these adorable pinwheels that I'm going to show you how to make inside, and added a ribbon embellishment at the top. And voila, I have something really fantastic to welcome my guests into my home. A set table is something I like to do not only for myself, but also for my clients. Today you'll see that I've used a little zesty yellow to turn up the color volume on my table setting. I've got a clear vase filled with lemons and some lemon yellow Gerber daisies to create a centerpiece that's really florist worthy. I've layered two different napkins, yellow and gray, to make my famous napkin bouquet. I think that's a nice touch on your table, even if you aren't having company. Another little thing that I like to do is always to have a place card. I've used a little bit of scrapbook paper, cut it out in the shape of a butterfly and added the name. Then I've placed it between the tongs of a fork. And I think it really adds that extra touch of spring fling. This spring, I've used paper pinwheels to decorate my home. I've used ordinary scrapbook paper to make something really lovely that was also on a budget. Today I'm gonna show you how to do that. I've started with a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper and I've accordion folded it just like this. I'm gonna use two sheets to create a large pinwheel, but you can use one sheet to create a smaller one. Once you've got it folded just like this, you're gonna fold it one more time in the middle. So there's one half of my pinwheel. Now we're gonna put these two halves together to make a hole. I'm gonna use one of my favorite new products, glue dots. Just run the roller along the edge that you want to affix and put it together. It couldn't be more simple than that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just stick it together. How cute is that? To make it a little more decorative, I like to add a doily in the middle. You could take a smaller pinwheel and layer it. Then I like to take a little something and put it in the middle. An artificial flower or one of these flat fabric flowers makes a great center. And how cute is that? I've used this on my wreath on my front door and also on my mantle. If you're like me, you wanna make a delicious gourmet dessert, but you don't always have time to make all the parts. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this beautiful lemon trifle using grocery store items. I've used a little bit of pudding, I've used some lemon curd, an already made pound cake, and a little bit of pineapple. Part of what makes this so lovely is this darling little mason jar that I've tied up with a little bit of ribbon. I've simply layered my items, beginning with a little whipped cream in the bottom, some pound cake next, a little bit of lemon curd, and whipped cream. And I've done this three different times to make this darling little dessert that I'd be proud to serve to any of my friends. Today I want to show you a clever and creative departure from the traditional floral bouquet. How about a balloon bouquet? I love the way this looks and it's something that you can do at home and doesn't really require any special ingredients. I'm gonna use a little bit of ribbon, all in a yellow and white color palette. I'm simply gonna layer the ribbons one on top of the other and fold it in the middle. I'm gonna use a little piece of burlap and tie that. And I'm gonna use a simple dowel that I've purchased at my favorite craft store and tie it right on using that same burlap ribbon. Finally, I'm gonna take two balloons, this great yellow and white polka dotted one and this simple white one, and I'm gonna use that same ribbon to tie them together. A few of these in a bouquet would make a lovely gift for a birthday, and I think it just screams spring. I hope I've given you some great ideas to put a little fling into your spring. This is Mindy Laven saying, it's a beautiful life, decorate it.